All right, in this tech training video with the Blade XR today, we're gonna go over different uh, scenarios where the vehicle may stop. It's normal sometimes for the vehicle to just stop when you're driving it with the remote. You may be too far away, you may be too close, there's radio signals, Wi-Fi, everything around us these days. It's normal for it to maybe stop sometimes when you're driving with the remote, even when the child's pressing the pedal. They may get uh, where their foot's pressing the pedal in, but it's not quite making contact. In other words, their foot kind of just relaxes and the toy stops and they have to press it again. This is all usually normal. Um, we're gonna go over the different uh, breakers on the vehicle. <clears throat> They're self-resetting fuses that may cause it to stop. So we'll start here at the back. This particular one is for the back wheels. So, uh, this is a listening type of situation. When you're driving the vehicle, it may be really tricky, but you got to kind of listen or be down by the vehicle and you can hear these. They'll make a click noise and then they're timed and they come back on within about 30 seconds or so. So this one right here, if it's, uh, if it's going off, it could be because a back motor could be damaged, a back motor could be in a bind, or you're simply in 99% of the situations driving on a, a terrain that's too hilly or there's too much weight in the toy or thick grass or something like that. And that's gonna apply to all these. If you drive in thick grass or hilly terrain that's just uh, steep inclines or too much weight for the toy, these breakers are gonna go off. It's completely normal. It's keeping the toy from uh, overheating or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate a scenario here. We're gonna put it in uh, two-wheel drive. We're gonna hold the pedal down and we're gonna keep the vehicle from moving. And uh, we're gonna listen quietly and you're gonna hear this clicking noise. And we're gonna move to that next. Uh, most likely, from our experience, it's gonna be the breakers inside the blue box. So uh, we're gonna try that now. I'm pressing the pedal now. And you've heard it go off and here in just a moment I'm still holding the pedal down still holding it down it will automatically come back on and there it is so this is a uh, deal of just listening to see where it's coming from if you're wanting to determine which one you're overriding so in this case I've took the cover off and it's gonna be these little signal uh, units inside of here that are doing that. So those are your uh, internal breakers there. Now, we have a larger breaker here. It would usually have a plastic sleeve on it. This is the overall breaker of the vehicle. So if you're driving along, do to do, and all of a sudden the whole entire vehicle goes off, lights and everything, and then it restarts, and the lights come back on, you're gonna know that it's this breaker because guess what, that goes straight to the battery. It cut the power to the whole vehicle. You have one final breaker here. This one is for the front drive motors. So it's kind of like the rear drive motors. If you overload these two front or one of them or they're bound up or one of these two front drive motors down here are damaged, then this breaker is gonna click. It's all about listening and kind of listening to see where the noise is coming from. But this covers the different breakers in the unit and stressing or overloading the unit going through thick grass again or steep hills.